Yesterday, Republican Trey Gowdy of South Carolina announced he's not going to run for re-election this fall. That's a bummer. He has been a representative since 2010. He was a Tea Party guy. He really gained prominence in uh, 2012. He was chairman of the special House panel that investigated the attacks on Benghazi. Through the Benghazi investigation, the House panel discovered Hillary's extra special private email server, which she used for government business. He knew how to ask tough questions, precise questions, and questions that drilled down and got to the truth. Most recently, as House Oversight Committee Chairman, Gowdy has been concerned with the integrity of the FBI's investigation into possible Russia collusion. He is particularly concerned about the text messages between the two FBI agents who were close to the investigation that reveal their anti-Trump bias. That FISA memo may come out as early as today. Speculation now is that Gowdy is leaving Congress for a possible federal judgeship, which would be fantastic. The National Republican Congressional Committee chairman says Trey Gowdy exemplifies the persona of a public servant. On the other hand, you know, the Democrats said he made a mockery of the congressional oversight uh, process. That dichotomy is probably why Gowdy is leaving. Yesterday, he said, I enjoy our justice system more than our political system. And as I look back on my career, it's the jobs that seek and reward fairness that are the most rewarding. I wish we could get rid of some of the people who have been there forever and ever. We're a a society that is changing, and the Senate is the oldest Senate in history now. The average American is 20 years younger than the representative. The elder members of Congress are not connected, um, usually to the younger voters, the culture, technology. They sometimes don't even seem connected to reality. Senator, I've been on this committee for 20 years. It's a greasy little pig. And then they turn the kids loose. Pigs are a little slippery to begin with, but you cover them with grease, they're really slippery. But they try to scoop up, scoop up this scurrying pig. It's really quite a spectacle. It's a lot of fun to watch. Working with my Senate Republican colleagues reminds me of chasing one of these little pigs. I'd like to begin with the... Uh... It was late at night, like at midnight, well after it was all finished. He was going on and on. I said, well, it was like midnight. I said, why don't you go to sleep? I think that, um, I think there's something not, uh, uh, more sleep might be a solution for him. This is not a game, Jake. You know, and when we do that, Jake, you're going to have a lot wolf, of enthusiasm. Wolf, wolf, I am sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the side of that. <laughs> when Gorsuch was up for the federal appeals court, Good, good question, Willie, and I just don't remember, to be honest with you. On voice votes, you don't make much of a, right. a, a note on it, and it's possible. I don't believe there was a lot of controversy surrounding we it. We want a diplomatic solution. Yeah. We do not want war in uh, 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 North Korea, uh, North uh, uh, Korea at all. My fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and uh, and capsize. The current age of the Democratic House leadership is 72 versus 48 for Republicans. Same for House committee leadership. Democrats, 68. Republicans, 59. Check out the representatives who are double the median age of their constituents. This year, more than half of the senators are up for re-election. They're over 65, half of them. There are currently 47 representatives and nine senators who have served at least 25 years. Guys, this is not what it was supposed to be like. Americans, I mean, they, they do realize they can vote these, these guys out, don't they? I mean, they've been there for a long time. Maybe that's a really bad thing. An average of 20% fewer Americans now show up to vote in the midterms. That's new. Trey, I'm glad you're leaving. You served well, you're leaving at the right time, and I hope you get a job on a bench. I mean, not a park bench, but a real bench.